Okay, we're not bound by the color of law. We're concerned citizens. Right, but you're concerned citizens with guns. What's wrong with that? And you're out here looking for people, and since you're not law enforcement in itself, the criticism is that it, it can end up being dangerous. It could be. It is. Very dangerous. But you can end up killing innocent people. Or get killed. We're here to meet our first guest, Robert Hi, Crooks, how are you? the leader of the Mountain Minutemen. Welcome to Veckel Valley, Arizona. This is the abscess on the planet Earth. If God was going to give the Earth an enema, this is where he would stick the two. We're standing on right now the main vein of heroin smuggling into this country. And it's us standing here on this corner post right here denies them access to the interstate. It forces the drug smugglers into the, the tough country. Mm -hmm. We are armed. We are armed. We believe in the Second Amendment and they're for self-defense. They're for self-defense. Self-defense, um, yes, cartels. from the cartel. Yes. Everyone in your group has an AR-15. Absolutely. We yeah. will protect our lives in our country. This is my wife, April Crooks, and we both stand for the same thing. This, my wife is Mexican. She speaks fluent Mexican, uh, Spanish. Uh, we both believe that America is for Americans. But do you still have family in Mexico? Yes, I do. And what if they want to come up and have the same lifestyle? They get a visa, here? and they come and they visit, and then they go back. Have you, were you born here? Yes, I was actually born in Brigham City, Utah. Brown on the outside, American on the inside. I may be of Mexican ethnicity, but I'm an American. I'm going to show you what me and my crew have put together in the past two days. These water bottles you see here, these are smuggler bottles. These bottles here are manufactured in Mexico for one purpose, for smuggling. I found this today as they sit on top of these mountaintops and they orchestrate movement across the valley floor. When they see Border Patrol or law enforcement in one place, they direct traffic in another direction. These are brand new backpacks, brand new, we found today. They represent 50 pounds of heroin, 50 pounds of crystal meth or cocaine. So have you come across people carrying these things Absolutely. through the desert? Yes, sir, I So have. what happens when that happens? I call the United States Border Patrol and I give chase. And once you catch them, what happens? I call the United States Border Patrol where they're apprehended and taken into custody and the drugs are confiscated. Hey, since October, we're responsible for about $5 million worth of product being apprehended. This is what the Mountain Minutemen are about. This is counter-narco-terrorism. Heroin addiction is up 80% across the nation right now. These don't grow on trees in the desert, and they're everywhere. I stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against the cartel. I have the lights on for them. You want a problem? You bring it right up here to this camp, and we'll talk about it. But they won't, because they're chicken. They're punks, they're cowards. They use the illegal immigrants to keep the Border Patrol in other areas. While the, while the Border Patrol is being entertained, gathering up the illegal immigrants, the dope smugglers are coming down the other direction. It's a kabuki dance, it's hokey pokey. Look over here, look over here, razzle dazzle dazzle, shoom, shoom, shoom. They should not come. And it should be our government to tell them to enforce this law. The more we allow this to happen, the worse it's gonna get. But legal immigration, I have nothing against legal immigration. Coming through the bushes in the middle of the night is not legal immigration. This is a barefoot invasion of our nation. I volunteer. I will stand in the dark in the night against the demons that bring this plight on our nation. Mm -hmm. 